Okay. You know, I work a lot with young people. They were born after the Cold War. They're not necessarily on the front lines as these young women are. And many of them don't even know that radiation causes cancer. Many of them don't even know that radiation can disrupt a pregnancy, can cause sperm to be irregular, can take away our future. So we've heard from our friends who are on those front lines, and now we're going to hear from someone who is working for the future that will stop any further enlargement of that pain and suffering. But we must remember, as we've heard just now, there is no end to Fukushima, no end to Chernobyl. So as we work for a healthy future, let us welcome Hunter Lovins. Hunter is president and founder of Natural Capitalism Solutions and one of our leading experts on a sustainable and clean future. Hunter. Thank you all. Thank you for coming. Thank you for caring. And thank you for what you are going to do tomorrow and all of the tomorrows to come. My first book in 1980 was on the link between nuclear power and nuclear bombs. My second book was on the climate crisis in 1981. So I've been doing this for a long time. Never have I felt as hopeful because we are winning. Yeah. We are winning because nuclear power is the most expensive option for meeting our needs for energy services. Second most expensive is coal with sequestration. Next is coal without sequestration. Next is gas. Yeah. Fracking is not cheap. Citigroup this summer put out a report called Energy Darwinism. 10-year unsubsidized forward price of gas, 11 cents a kilowatt hour. 10-year unsubsidized forward price of solar, 10 cents a kilowatt hour. They said it's over, solar wins. And last week, Lazar Frere came out and said already in many parts of the US, it is cheaper today to go with solar and wind than with gas, coal, oil, or nuclear. We're winning! Jobs, you want jobs? Renewable energy will give you 10 times the number of jobs that you will get from any of King Kong. Any of King Kong is worse for jobs. Build a new nuclear plant, you will cost the economy over 4,000 net jobs because it is so capital intensive, you steal money from all other sectors. So yes, we need to stand in solidarity. Yes, we need to understand that this is jo not just about economics, it's about justice. Yes, we need to mo honor our mother. We need to honor all of life. And we need to build an economy in service to life. But let us not forget that our strongest argument is the business case. So I will leave you now and go north and walk with business, with businesses that are committing to be 100% renewably powered, with businesses that are committing to sustainability. These are the businesses that you should buy from, celebrate, and also stand in solidarity with. We need to separate the businesses of the last century from the businesses of the future. And we need to build a regenerative economy. Nature is sustainable because it is regenerative. Let's start thinking for the future. What are we going to do tomorrow? We heard about electric cars. I drive one. I drive a leaf. I debated the frackers, and at the end of the debate, they had the last word, and this old boy said, you want our product, we're going to drill it, and you're going to buy it. And the next day, the man I live with said, hey, you want to go drive a leaf? 
I said, yeah, I do. So I have a five kilowatt solar system on my ranch. I have a battery backup. And in the climate catastrophe last September when it flooded in Colorado, we were fine. We kept going. This is the future every one of us can have. Thank you for being here.